Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we move from Buffington Island, Ohio to Warrington County, Virginia for the Battle of Manassas Gap, otherwise known as the Battle of Wapping Heights on July 23, 1863. Union Major General William H. French, a lifelong member of the U.S. Army, was ordered by overall Union Commander General George Meade to cut off Confederate Commander Robert E. Lee's retreating forces at Front Royal. This would be done by moving through the Manassas Gap. In his way was Confederate General Richard H. Anderson, also a lifelong member of the U.S. Army before resigning to join the Confederacy at the start of the war, who commanded a division that was defending Manassas Gap. There was no clear victor during the battle. Union Major General French arrived in Manassas Gap on July 23rd and immediately assaulted a Confederate Richard Anderson's division. The assault was initiated by the New York Excelsior Brigade, led by General Francis B. Spinola, who slammed into the Confederate Colonel Edward J. Walker's 3rd Georgia Regiment early that morning. Spinola used his overwhelming forces to push the troops back up the gap. By mid-morning, the Confederates were reinforced by Colonel Thomas Henry Carter's artillery and Colonel Edward Asbury's O'Neill's infantry brigade. This was enough to blunt the Union push, resulting in attacks that were not coordinated. The attacks continued for the rest of the day, and the Union was forced to withdraw for the night. The Confederate forces used this time to retreat into the darkness and escape. Total estimated casualties were 450 between the two sides. However, a breakdown of these casualties doesn't seem to be easy to come by. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.